Name, Biggie. Her name. Yeah, she had to do one for today. She's not sure she got sound, so she's gonna have to check it and see if it had any sound on the video. And possibility the mic was left on, so I don't know if I'm gonna get any sound on this round or not. I have to check the video before I put it up. Anywho, I had a little enjoyment. Seen half done out there, getting rid of stuff that should have done and gotten rid of long ago. They, st I guess, they waiting me out to see if I'd get rid of it. <laughs> I got cleared out the way. Ain't on me to get rid of it. We ain't the ones that brought it down there. We didn't bring it down there. We didn't have no use for it. Uh, some of it's trash from where they did stuff on the house. We had nothing to do with that. Yeah, you know, so that's totally on them. It's like they expected me to get clean up their mess. Uh, nope. They've made it, uh, painfully un uh, obvious that it ain't mine. And that anything I do, they're gonna nullify. So, you know, I ain't gonna have nothing to do with cleaning up their mess. Now, it was to where Elaine and I could do things around there and it not get bothered and, you know, to improve things, that would be one thing. I'd do what I could to help out cleaning up. But, nope. We've tried doing gardens, they get messed with. Somehow, big, my pinky-sized mater worms appear overnight on maters that we was trying to grow at one point. The uh, garden we laid out, edges of it would get gone across with a mower. You know, messing some stuff up. Yeah, I can take a hint, folks. <laughs> you don't like me doing that. Then get contradicted. Well, you know, you could do this and that. Yeah, yeah, I could. And it'd be a waste of effort. Because between two of you, do things where it'd just be a waste of effort. You know, I don't believe in a wasted effort. Thought it kind of funny, too, out there. Going to intersect with the time we leave. I found that kind of funny, too. As y'all can see, we've gotten behind the school bus. But that's all right. We've got plenty of time. I was taking my time anyhow. And, uh, yeah, so we got plenty of time. We still got 22 minutes before we have to be where we need to go. And it takes the average about 20 minutes. So we got time. Well, we got all sorts of stuff going on out there in the world. You know what? That's worldly stuff. They can have it. Whatever comes, comes. The Lord's got me. You know, the world can have itself. I ain't worried about 
who gets what. I mean, it would be nice if things went the right way, but, you know, you got so many people out there that have been fooled and they're doubling down on believing in the lie. <coughs> they become stupid. Can't tell them nothing now. I ain't going to mess with it. I've done banged my head against that brick wall years ago. I ain't going to do no more of it. People going to do what they want to do anyhow, and they're going to believe what they want to believe anyhow, and, and uh, they'll double down and believe in what they want to believe even more when they've been shown they're wrong. Nobody likes to admit being wrong. So, you know, that comes into the realm of willful ignorance. You can't tell willful ignorance anything because they're going to lean under their own understanding and don't understand they're idiots. So, it's like it's like it said, a wise man will appreciate correction. A fool will berate you for showing them the truth. Because they've been fooled and they are a fool and they don't want to believe they're a fool, so they keep on being a fool. Somebody running down the side of the road. How about grab a little bit more grass there, dude? I know I don't own the road, but uh, at least you're going in the right direction, but you could have grabbed a little bit more grass. But. That's reflective clothing. Right. Yeah, so. I don't. Uh, get into those entanglements anymore. You ain't gonna get nowhere with it no how. People have to come to those realizations in their own time. That's usually takes God revealing stuff to them and, and taking the uh, scales off their eyes so that they can see. That's literally what it's like. It's like they got scales over their eyes, can't see the truth. And it takes God to remove those scales or the right person that God has to speak to them so that God comes through that person speaking to them. It opens their eyes. But that's still God doing it. And that's what it takes. It takes God removing those scales off their eyes because, you know, ain't nothing else going to do it. You could talk to them for a hundred years, 24-7, and until you run out of breath, it ain't going to make a difference. You can show them the truth and they'll still deny it. You know, so you waste your time talking to them. The only one we really need to be concerned about talking to is God and saying, Lord, we need some balance. That's just like with these storms, too. Don't, don't ask God just to simply clear those storms out. Ask Him for balance. You know, because... There is a balance to things, and we are way out of balance. So what we need is balance. You're in a drought, people crying and begging God for rain. Oh, we need the rain, we need the rain, we need the rain. They wind up getting rain for two years almost nonstop. Like, oh, Lord, we don't need this much. Stop the rain, stop the rain. 
Well, if you'd ask for balance to begin with, guess what? You'll get balance. Get things equal out. So a lot of times when you suddenly stop something, what do you get? You get the opposite reaction. You stop something up, what happens? You stop getting any. And then you go to the other extreme, out of balance. Pray for balance. That's all you got to do, pray for balance. You know. But anyway, that's just a little something, something. It ain't much, but y'all seen Elaine's video today. It's Wednesday, by the way, so you'll be seeing this Thursday morning. You seen Elaine's video today. Uh, look into all that. Pray for the people affected by these storms. And, you know, put the word out, if nothing else. You can't do that. Pray. Stand in the gap for those folks affected. Pray to God for his mercy on those folks. A lot of people don't realize it, but prayer can be very effective, especially if you know how to you ask for it in Jesus' name, then you just praise God for it. Don't keep asking. Just praise and thank God for what he has already done. Ask for it. Praise and thank God for what he's already done in Jesus' name. All you got to do. I guess that's about it. Piggy loves you.